Hey guys, so with LearnDash, I had a situation where I've got a client who wanted to offer up a certificate, but only if you've completed three separate courses. And so I was trying to figure out what the best way to do this was, and I couldn't come up with a super quick and easy way. But I did come up with a solution, and I don't know if it's the best or the perfect one, but um, it seems to work fairly well for this uh, application. So if you have multiple courses and you want to offer a certificate for uh, a handful of courses, this is one way to go about doing it. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it now. So what you're seeing on this page right now is um, I am not logged in, so I am a complete visitor. As you'll see here, um, I still need to log in. So this is a, uh, a shot of the actual course. Now what I did was I created an entire course for that final exam, and then I applied the certificate to the course itself, not to the quiz. Um, and the reason why I did that was because of different prerequisites and things that I'll explain in a second. So with quizzes, you're only allowed to have other quizzes as prerequisites. But in this case, we needed courses to be the prerequisites. So with, when you create a new course, you can select multiple courses to be prerequisites for a fourth course. So essentially, I created this fourth course that all it houses is the one quiz, which is the final exam that you need to pass in order to get the certificate. And then I applied um, prerequisites to it and then put the three courses that are required to be completed. I just made those prerequisites to this course. So what you're seeing now is this course page that only has the one exam. Now I tried different, uh, different types to set it for price type and I found that the, what works best is setting it to free. Um, close didn't work really well because they, there was no way for them to get quick access to it after they finished the other three courses. And um, when you set it to open, then anybody can go and view it. So I didn't want that. I didn't want any kind of uh, purchase buy now or anything like that because they're not paying extra for this course. They've already paid for the other three. So setting it to free was um, the best way I could find to make it work. So if you're not logged in, you haven't signed up for any courses yet, and there's not an easy way to access this, but let's say somebody did find it and they accessed it and they tried to take this course, they would be sent to a login page. Um, because for free uh, courses, you need to be logged in. They don't have an account, they haven't purchased anything yet, so they won't be able to access it. So now I'll show you what it looks like for someone who has purchased all three courses, but they haven't finished them yet. So you'll see here registered courses. I've got three listed and only two out of the three are complete. So let's say that, again, somehow I found the exam and I tried to go to it and take it. Because I have prerequisites set up for this course, um, you'll see that it says to take this course, you need to complete the following course first, Intro to Hydroponics. So that Intro to Hydroponics course is that one that we haven't completed yet. One other thing I'll mention that I did is on each of the courses that are complete, I did put this message at the top. I use the course underscore complete short codes. So this message here at the top only applies once you've completed the course and it shows up for each of the three that need to be completed to be able to get the certificate. Um, so what I've done here is I've linked this certificate track to the actual WooCommerce product that we're using um, as a group product to sell all three. So if they're only signed up for one, they complete it, then this is a, a good way to kind of cross promote and say, hey, there is a certificate track, but you need to complete all three, and they can click this link to go purchase the other two courses. There's also this link here that will take them directly to that final exam course. So if they have finished all three, then this is a quick way for them to get right back to that, uh, that final exam course. So I did do that. So let me go and finish this final Intro to Hydroponics course. And once I've finished this one, then I should have access to that final course, which will let me take that one exam that's in that final course. All right, so now I've completed this here, and I've got, again, this message is on all three of these courses, only shows up if you've completed them, and then I click take the final exam. Now because we've said it's a free, um, you'll see that it says not started and there's a take this course button. That's just required the way LearnDash is set up. So this, this text here is gonna show up for everybody. 
Um, it just kind of lets them know, hey, these are the three courses. You need to have completed all three, but once you do, you can click the button, and then a 70% uh, is required on the exam to receive the certificate. So I'll click Take This Course. And what we can do then is click the quiz, and then we can start our quiz. Um, and we go through all the questions. As long as we get a 70%, then we're able to um, get our certificate. So now I'll show you, I'll flip over to uh, a logged in version of already completed the certificate, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here you'll see that I am back on the course page that just has that final exam attached to it and it says course completed and because I have scored a 70% 70, 70 or higher on the quiz um, that's required for the course to be complete is to finish this quiz and so I have scored a 70% so I'm good to go and then you'll see the print this certificate button right here at the top and we click on that and here's my certificate so that's how I ended up doing it um, you guys might have a better way to do it but I just wanted to show you that process there's kind of a lot of little things involved there, but I hope that that's helpful.